you know, one thing I've learned as kind of mentioned earlier too, like being on social media and then uh -huh. trying to uh, either build a brand or just be yourself is very difficult. And a lot mm -hmm. of people don't get that um, looking from outside in, right? Yeah. Because uh, you're always, uh, everybody, every time you put out a content, it, people look at it and they kind of make their own stories up as they go right because mm. they don't have the full narrative they don't have they don't know your background they don't know what you're all about mm. um so joe rogan being mm -hmm. on that platform and then having his opinion and being very opinionated uh it's definitely you know it creates a lot of uh, uh frictions uh, frictions right between the people who like him and people who fucking hate him <laughs> yeah. sure yeah absolutely so, yeah, he's yeah. definitely like i think it does serve you to be polarizing like, yeah it does i think it like if you are if you're liked by everybody then you're probably like there's probably like nobody that's gonna come fight for you, you know. And and that's something I, I I'm learning right now as yeah. as I'm going and building brand. Um, is I have to have my opinions and I have to like build my life around that and not change because of um what other people might want me to be like, mm -hmm. right? And that's something I'm learning and starting to understand. Um, and it's taken me a while. Like I've been I've been doing about my Instagram page since like 2015, but it's always been on and off. Mm, and yeah. I've revamped it like two, three times, and like try to, you know, find my own voice on that platform. Um, and now I'm starting to become more, um, you know, when I share my stories and when I do stuff, I'm starting to take more pride in what I do. Um, you know, I've been showing up for free for, you know, a while, like just showing up, you know, spreading positivity, talking about the stuff that I do and just, um, you know, find some humor in it, but also try to uh, find the message or a lesson from, you know, my own failures in life or whatnot. Right. Mm -hmm. So now being at that point, I'm becoming more, uh, open about who I am and, and, you know, uh, the things I'm doing and yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, my background with social media. So now I'm starting mm -hmm. to learn that I just have to be very honest, be be very upfront and admit my mistakes, but also learn from them and share that message um, using my platform. Nice, man. Yeah, that's dope. Did you, because did you like restart recently? Like when, because when I look at your feed, there's only like, like, yeah, 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 I did. Thing. I did. Re so I, I revamped it yeah. last year. Um, so I kind of I go through these phases where yeah. obviously being again, being on social, it's a lot of mental game, you have to, you know, develop that mental Absolutely. strength to like, keep bouncing back from what you learn and what you fail at. Mm -hmm. um, so I've obviously gone through different stages. Um, and and that, yeah, I recently just revamped it. Uh, because when this whole quarantine stuff happened, I was, you know, um, doing a lot of stuff and different stuff. And I wanted to kind of bring my brand more together mm -hmm. um, and just really be about uh, my uh, positivity and then like my clothing brand and just kind of focus on those two things. Um, yeah. I didn't want, um, again, it's all branding, right? I'm learning how to how to brand myself properly. So because of that, I just had to revamp it and then focus on the things I want to focus on on my platform. Yeah. Mm. Right. So yeah, I did restart that recently. Okay, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. No, I feel like uh, I'm kind of in the same boat. Like there's almost like you can't be afraid to be bold, mm -hmm. I guess, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. for me personally on my social over the years, and I'm still working on this, like kind of being like sort of sheepish with things, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like that's no way to get any good attention or make any noise and or draw yeah. attention to you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it, it's, yeah. And social is very, very much about attention, right? Uh, oh, yeah. It just depends on what kind of attention you want to attract and what type of attention you want yeah. on yourself. Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, you're gonna get it either way, as long as you're, as long as you have a page, uh, especially if you're trying to build a brand, mm -hmm. you're gonna get attention either way. And I, I notice like sometimes I'll post stories that may be a little contradicting because I'm just voicing my opinion, and mm -hmm. that's what I'm learning now. It's like no matter what I say, there's gonna be two sides to it that people are going to take mm -hmm. uh, it's either they're on my side or they have a different opinion uh but i that's all that is it's their opinion well uh, and it's then, engagement too I guess, it's engagement right? yeah it's engagement too and that's part of the branding process right like mm -hmm. you have to do you have and that goes back to what thomas just said like you have to have a your own voice you have to be authentic and that's the only way to create that noise in the market space so people know what you're about and then uh, those people want to do business with you. So. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of like finding your your people. Mm -hmm. You know, I call them my peeps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So. yeah, it's just kind of you're putting yourself out there as many times as possible, and there's you know just finding those you know that yeah, from that one post, those two people that exactly kind of that resonate is, with it, and then. Yeah goes yeah. from there and right? that's what i like like i'll post stories you know whether it's like a morning motivation or like just getting in the gym or you know um 
anything to do with that i'll i'll get messages where people like oh, i needed to hear this today or mm. or you know thanks uh, you know thanks for sharing that that was a good perspective and and that alone is like what really drives me in building this brand um so essentially i want to grow it out to where i am truly influencing and, and being able to touch a lot more people um i do feel i bring a lot of different perspective to what i do so uh, just have a different point of view on a lot of things and yeah so cool man